Hi there guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this type of 3D text and um, like the background scene and this light here all in um, Cinema 4D now I mean this is really simple to do just to get 3D text it takes a matter of seconds and then we can just add some of these colors and some other effects around it and it looks really cool um, yeah all in Cinema 4D so let's get started. If you don't know what Cinema 4D is, it is like an um, it's like After Effects, but you work with more with like 3D objects. You can create 3D objects. Um, you can people prefer it. I find it um, just just as good as After Effects. After Effects is still so really good, and this does does have its really smart things like the text effects that you can do with it. So I'm going to start. I'm going to go to File New. All right. So I've just got this here. I'm just going to go over to this little. Um, sort of the light source, hit that. I'm gonna choose floor. I'm gonna click hold again, choose the sky. So now we have a floor and a sky. No one really ever uses the sky but I don't know, I always do. But um let's just rotate this round to the centre. Alright. Alright. And then we're obviously gonna to want to import our text. So if we come to this sort of like I don't know what the hell, it's like an S with a plus at the end. Like a question mark, you could say. I don't know with these little whatever. Hit that down. Come down here to where it says text. As you can see, this text comes up here. We can edit it over at the side here. I'm just going to put, for the, obviously, for the purpose of this tutorial, um, 3D text, like so. Click away. We have our 3D text. I'm just going to choose a font now. Um, you're going to want something bold, um, not like because it, it really does go. You can do it with any font actually, but anything goes. Impact looks good, so I'm going to be using Impact. Um, I'll put that in the description. So I'll just choose Impact and I've just made it bold because you can have it even bolder again, so that'll do. Yeah, that looks fine. Now, if I just render this out, it just clicks it, this just sort of renders it. So we can see we've got the floor, the sky, and just no text because we haven't edited that text yet. So I'm just going to click on the text and I'm just going to go up to here where it's sort of like a little circle inside a um, square. Click down to cho choose extrude nerves. Now once that comes up you're going to want to get the text and drag up until it comes down until the arrow is face facing, facing down. So click on it on the actual text, drag and um, wait, wait until the arrow goes down. Let go and as you can see straight away we have this type of 3D text that is the basic 3D text as you can see that is a completely 3D 100% 3D now that, that is just that's the really basic 3D text but I'm going to show you how to do one better so on the extrude nerves I'm just going to hit um, edit copy edit paste or I could just do the hotkeys so it means we have two of them now and on the bottom one I'm going to set if I come down to the um, object on the movement right over it at the um, far right on the movement I'm gonna change this to 60 okay so hit enter whatever as you can see it's really 3d now as you can see here it's to 60 now click click on this one again and I'm gonna change it to 40 like so so I'll, this, I'll show you what's gonna happen in a sec you just gonna have this part raised back, sort of just just sort of behind it so you can see that it's 3D and that's where you'll have the other colour so I'm just gonna come and, um, I've come to the side so I can see what I'm doing you just wanna kinda come to the side just use the rotate tool to come to the side now on the blue axis I don't know what that's actually called but it's the yeah the Z axis as it says down here we're just gonna move it all the way right to the end um, like so it should just sort of stop um, sort of just locks when you're doing it really slowly so that is the end there and as you can see we have this front part then where I just added the rest All right. now I'm just going to want to do something else now this is to make it raised on the caps I'm going to choose um, start I'm just going to choose cap and choose fillet cap now it's going to sort of raise one side a bit but on the radius I'm just going to want to set it to 10 it's going to want, we're going to want it to stick out and um, on the other cap I'm going to want it to be 10 as well, so proper sticks up. And as you can see, let's come back around here now. We have this really um, nice sort of 3D effect now. If I just render this for you, 
as we can see, I just need to pull it up from the floor a bit. But we have the act this sort of like comes around it. It looks like it's like a type of font. It's really nice. Um, so let's just go up a little bit. Oh, whoops. Now, when you want to move, make sure you click on one, hold shift, and click on the other, and then um, drag up. It's going to drag up until you can see um, all of the bottom, like so. Then um, preview it, and as you can see, it looks a lot better now. Now, we're going to add some, add some color to this, uh, cause it's just a bit plain. So, down here on the materials, click anywhere, and um, it'll bring up a new sort of material. Double click again, come over to the color. Now I'm just going to hit here for the colour, I'm just going to choose a black because I want the front of it to be black and on the reflection I'm just going to set the brightness all the way down to 15% so it just gives it a nice sort of um, reflective glossy look and then so now if I just show you that oh, this nice this nice black and then um, I'm going to want to want the blue like I did on the other one so if I just double click again double click again on that material Make sure you're on the colour. I'm just going to choose a blue. Um, if you come up here, let's choose this type of blue. Uh, nice light blue. I'm just going to add a reflection as well to this of 15%. Okay, so it makes it nice and glossy. And I'm going to drag that onto the other one we've done before. Now, if I just uh, render that out, as we can see, we have the nice, that's really nice text, obviously, with the glossy. Um, blue now I want to add a light because it just it, a light gives a, a really good effect now if we just come over here this is the light we just click it hold down hit light as you can see it brings up this little light I'm just gonna want to drag up just using the um, y-axis just oh whoops just drag up quite far actually so I'm just gonna have to zoom out or you just scroll on your mouse to zoom out I'm just gonna drag up to maybe around um, 341 just I don't know what's going to be on yours, depending on the size of your text. And then if I render that out, as you can see, we have this nice type of light effect. So all of us, it's it's sort of based on this part. But if I zoom in a bit, let's just come over the top. It's sort of focused more on here. It's sort of more in front of the text. So we're just going to want to go on the um, uh, Z axis. I don't understand what I mean. If you just look down here every time you click on something new it's going to have different axes the Z is going to be the blue sorry I'm not even on the right one I need to be on the light sorry I was going to say and um, we're just going to go on the, obviously the Z axis and just going to bring it back we're going to want the light to be right over the text like it is so now I'm just going to zoom back in a bit now so you can see a bit better alright now if I just render this out as you can see we have the nice light comes in front and here and then we have all the background obviously um, you can't actually see the background if I come down quite far run it out now as you can see we have this nice text um, looks really good really good easy to do now um, I'm gonna have another tutorial on all the, all the cameras so I've already done this the sniper rifle there's gonna be a couple more like guns because I see there's a lot of people who want them in front of their text and their name and all this um, and I'm going to show you how to make a um, thing because it takes quite a while to add all these together into one video because it won't fit. But as you can see, this is the um, the 3D text with the camera with the, not the camera angle, sorry, the light, and we've got a background and the sky. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Please subscribe more Cinema 4D video, um, yeah, videos, tutorials on the way. A lot more Adobe products, tutorials on the way. So don't you're not going to miss out. There and um, yeah, so see you in a bit, guys.